Randall. Oh, Vicki, no school bus for thousands of magnet and traditional school students next year means parents will have to figure out how to get their children to and from classes. It's a burden some say is overwhelming and could change their futures and the lives of their kids. I've been stressing out. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Laura Swartz um, is a mother of three, picking up her fourth grade daughter from Brandeis Elementary in Louisville's West End. It was a rare occasion. Usually, Swartz's daughter rides a JCPS bus to and from her magnet school. But next year, there will be no buses at Brandeis. And I don't know how I will be able to work having to take three children to and from three different schools around town next year. Swartz is graduating from college in May and expected to start her career. But the Jefferson County School Board's decision to effectively end busing for magnet and traditional students means find a ride or remove kids from their programs. With her being in fourth grade, I don't want to remove her from her fifth grade year. And my son's in high school, he's 16. I don't want to remove him finishing high school where he's at. I'm blessed to be able to have the means to get my child to and from school. Everyone doesn't have that. Dominique Wales' first grade daughter also attends Brandeis. Wales says she sympathizes with Laura Swartz and other parents who are now on their own when it comes to getting their kids to and from school. One idea which has been talked about is parents banding together and forming carpool groups. Wales supports the idea, but wonders if it's realistic for Brandeis parents. What are the legal ramifications there? We have parent groups, so are we all going to sign waivers when we transport each other's children? Do they have the proper insurance? It's a lot of things that now parents have to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure that out, if I can figure that out. JCPS has eliminated transportation for all magnet and traditional schools except Central and Western high schools. For everyone else, they have until August to figure it out. Reporting live in the studio, Randall Cam, WLKY News.